Hello newbies, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack a single endpoint race condition lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Port Swigger. So in this lab, there is a feature that make us enable to update our emails. And this functionality has a race condition vulnerability that make us associate two emails from different accounts. So our goals is to make this collision attack and change our email account with this email. And then our email will have extra permissions and we can see an admin panel. And after going there, we will delete user, call it Kalos. And we have a credential of winner, Peter. So as a recommendation, guys, as you can see, I'm using Perpsuit version of 2023.9 and this is a requirement to do a race condition attacks. So if you have an out of date version, please go watch my video about how to update your perp suit and you will find the link in the description below. So guys, without further ado, let's go now. And here we go guys. So the first step, let me go to my account. Let me connect as a winner and password of Peter. I don't need to save credentials. And here we go. So in my account, I have my email and I have this functionality of update email. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my email and try to update it. But before doing that, let me activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition. Let's go to Proxy, intercept twice and go to HTTPS3. And now let me update my email. And here we go. So this is the request of updating email. Let me scroll it. And here we go. And as you can see now, he's asked me to confirm my email. So here you can notice that this functionality doesn't verify the previous email before updating the new one. Even this email is exactly this email. Okay, so now let me open my email client. Let me go in there and let me do the confirmation. And here we go. Now I can see that I confirmed successfully my email. Let me back in here and let me refresh. And here we go. Now the warning is deleted. Now what I'm going to do, I will see the possibility if I will receive an email if I change a little bit of email. So what I'm going to do, I try to change this winner with something different. So let me say popo and let me paste the request in here and let me send. And now he's asked me to update my email in here. So let me go to uh, email account and see. And as you can see, I receive a confirmation email, even that this, this email, it's not even for me. So what I can recognize that uh, that everything ends with at and then this DNS, it will be receiving in my box email. So let me confirm it and let me see and let me refresh. And here we go. Now I update successfully my email. So let me send the update email to my repeater and let me go in there. Let me close Andrew Spectre. I don't need it. And here we go. So this is the previous email. So what I'm going to do, I will try to make a collision request and see if this functionality have a race condition vulnerability. So let me send it to repeater again. And here we go. Now let me back to the first one. Um, I'm going to change this one and I'm going to call it, let me say popo-hack1 at, so this is a number one. And let's go to the second one. Let me close under specter two. And let me say popo slash slash hack two and add exploit. And here we go. Now let me create the tab group. Let me select the two requests and I'm going to choose red color and I'm going to rename it with a raise window and let me create it. And here we go. So let me select the first one. So this is Popo hack one, and this is Popo hack two. I'm going to select this one. And now I'm going to select a send group in parallel and let me send the attack. 
and here we go let me refresh in here and see which one is accepted so it accept the second one let me go in here let me back let me refresh and as you can see i received purple hack 2 after the purple hack 1 so let me try to confirm purple hack 1 and as you can see it successfully updated and let me refresh the purple hack 2 and see and here we go now it works and here i found the race condition vulnerability so what just happened in here let's back so i receive the purple hack 1 and purple hack 2 so I confirm it purple hack one with clicking this button to confirm that I'm going to use the second one. So the first request confirm it for the second request. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my admin's email. And now where I'm going to go, I'm going to the second one. I'm going to replace it in here. And here we go. So this is the target. Let me back. To the first one so this is the email changed and here we go guys so let me send the attack and let me refresh and see he's asking for the first let me retry again let me refresh and here we go so now he's asking for this one let me back to my email address and try to confirm it let me refresh and this is it and let me confirm and here we go guys we successfully updated so let me back to my account and now let me refresh and as you can see guys i successfully installed an admin email so now i'm able to see an admin panel let's go in here and here we go now i able to delete carlos and here we go guys we deleted carlos account i hope that you learned something new about the race conditions so don't forget to like the video and if you have any question don't forget to put it in the comments below and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next videos.